Hey there guys, welcome back to I Can't Witch Without, the witchy series that I'm doing about items that I use regularly in my practice. As always, there is the disclaimer right up front with these videos to preempt any nonsense because this are not videos telling you you must own X, Y and Z in order to be a witch, to do witchcrafting, etc. It's just not the case. These videos are to provide insight into things that I use regularly. I enjoy using them. They enrich my path and I think you might enjoy learning about them too. So this week is Copal, the resin. And in front of you, you have a number of different versions. I decided to do Copal this week because my dear friend sent me some Hem Copal incense and it is divine. It's possibly my new favourite incense. I loved it so much I had to go see if any of my uh, usual haunts stocked it and I found somewhere that I trust. So I ordered three more. <clears throat> so <laughs> I love this incense. It's so uplifting. I burnt some for the Morrigan this morning. It, it went down well. So, Okay. The meanings of Copal. Now normally I read from Cunningham's book and the Encyclopedia. The uh, compendium, sorry, of herbal magic. The compendium of herbal magic does not have copal in it, so I guess they didn't feel they need to include resins. I'm assuming they don't have any of the other resins. I didn't really look. But from Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs as a jumping off point, it is masculine, planet sun, element fire, powers love and purification. Copal is added to love and purification incenses, especially in Mexico. A piece of copal can represent the heart in pockets. There are over 300 copals available around the world, and perhaps a handful are commonly available in the US. All copals have a lightness, a sweetness in common, and therefore are often useful in love spells. Each of the commonly available copals has unique properties. Aztec or black copal has a pine scent that separates it from others. Manila copal is light and sweet. Mayan copal, Manila copal and golden copal are a few other copals available today. Okay, so in front of you I just have um, copal that I ordered from uh, Pain Dreams, unfortunately. Um, and it just comes as copal resin. And then I have some black copal, which we talked about before. It has its own uses for attracting good spirits, displacing evil spirits, helps eliminate negative visions and thoughts, as well as depression. Black copal animates, revitalizes, and protects. It's a fantastic copal using in Morrigan incenses and blends and I think it would cross over to other crone goddesses as well. I think the black copal definitely has a little bit more oomph. It's uh, described as being one of the most potently scented of the copals. Copal is also the main ingredient of Four Star Incense Resin Blend, which I will make a quick video at the end, so it'll be a separate video telling you how you can make that and what you can use that for, because it's so simple and really, really effective in meditative work. It's, it's a resin blend that we will talk about on the end, on a different, on a little tailor made video for that, I think. Oh, I'm just sat here inhaling this this stuff. If you haven't tried Hem Copal, go get it immediately. <laughs> it is incredible. It is incredibly, and it's light and uplifting. So for me, Copal has always been about purification. I've never actually used it in love blends. Um, I don't think. I'm thinking. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think um, Copal I have used for purification purposes and the black copal has gone into Morrigan resins. So copal for me definitely has an element of temple incense about it. I personally feel that, as well as frankincense and myrrh, but particularly for me, copal 
as a resin has this uplifting fragrance which really sort of reminds me of being in holy places and burning it in your own sacred space can sort of not only purify it of all negative energy and things and it has that uplifting getting rid of negative crap energy and things of, of that nature but it also brings into into focus for me an energy of being in your own inner sanctum and your own inner temple almost bringing in the idea of the sacred grove now one i haven't actually got on camera which i'm holding and i because it's still in its little bag and i don't think there's not very much of it left is moon copal and moon copal is one that i bought from my local holistic place when they were stocking stuff unfortunately they had problems with a heavenly christianized local towns thing who clamped down on them being able to sell them which was really unfortunate really um but the wooden sorry the moon copal has a wooden a woody uh, fragrance and that ties into the sacred grove energies even more for me it really does have like this spiritually uplifting energy this incredible ability to transform a space from the mundane into the sacred into the spiritual and i think copal for me personally does that more than any other resin i love it let's have a look is there a mix um escapees so it tends to come in these sorts of chunks and you can use it in herbal blends and things and incenses like the one i will talk about on the jump video after so it's interesting that copal is often used to represent the heart in poppets and i guess you it's often used that way in terms of love magic but if you think about it it has the ability to be very proactive if you were doing purification work spiritual work to do with the heart chakra because of that innate connection it's a good way of cleansing out the heart chakra and any blockages or any funk and if you wanted one incense or one resin and you were doing heart chakra work copal would be the one i would suggest there is an element of connecting you with your higher self and your spiritual purpose and the divine to copal as well because it creates this sort of sacred space and it's, through inhaling the scent you're almost uplifting your energy even just by inhaling it I, can, I feel it right now as I'm breathing in this this incredible incense it's lifting me and uh, it's raising my energy raising my energy vibration very much so it has a definite uplifting energy to it and because of the fit uplifting in conjunction with spirituality that means that you can connect to higher purpose or burn f in offering for your divine gods goddesses however you interact with spirit it's also perfect of course for any solar deities because of its correspondence with the sun I think it would make a fantastic uh, resin or incense for offering just by itself and I offered the Morrigan some of this incense just this morning and I thought it was beautiful and, and perfect for that. It's also connected with the element of fire and that also comes into the purification side of it, the energy of burning something away. I think Copal is one of the earliest resins I ever used along with frankincense and it, it it's an easy resins energies to connect to I think it has a very definite effect a very quick effect and is easy to connect to in terms of connecting with energies and magics and, and bringing that into your life particularly when burned given the, the fire connection of course it makes sense that you know you burn 
something with a fire solar connection and it releases its energies quite quickly. So I think that might be everything apart from the four star incense. So I'm going to uh, wish you all well for this video and record that next. Many blessings.